In our continuing coverage, a court date is set now for Senate Majority Leader Gene Sullentrop. It's scheduled for June 3rd. Sullentrop faces charges including a felony for leading police on a wrong way chase at a really high speed on a major Topeka highway while under the influence. He also has since set back from his duties as Majority Leader and he's facing calls for resignation from Kansans and colleagues at the Capitol building. Well, right now it's time for KSNT's Morning Conversation and today we welcome Shawnee County District Attorney Mike Kage to the program. Good morning and thanks for being here. Good morning, David. Thanks for having me. Well, the first thing I've got to ask concerns the Sullentrop case. It didn't take long for charges to be filed, so it's obviously serious. Can this case be handled the same way as if it involved any other civilian with the same charges? Oh, absolutely. And I think that's, that's what we have to do, right? Uh, and that should be the expectation of the uh, community that we serve. Uh, just because someone is uh, a known figure, uh, doesn't matter uh, who they are, what their background is, uh, I can guarantee you in Shawnee County, in my office, they're going to get the same treatment as anybody else. Now, when this first happened, uh, we actually had a quote from you saying, uh, this wouldn't be a big deal if it were somebody else. Do you still feel the same? Well, what I'm saying is you wouldn't be asking me about uh, another DUI case. Uh, you know, we file any number of DUI cases uh, throughout the year. Uh, we've had reckless driving cases. We've had uh, several looting police cases. These, these never make it into the news, and that's the point that I'm making. It seems like a little bit bigger deal than that, though, does it not? I mean, this is wrong way on a major highway with very high speeds. A lot of people called about what was going on. The rate of speed was incredibly high, what I understand to be 90 miles per hour. And then lives were actually put at risk from KHP trying to stop this driver. Uh, is it not more serious than what you're, you're really talking about here? I'm not saying the charges aren't serious. I'm not saying that we're not taking them seriously. What I'm telling you is we've had other cases uh, with similar fact patterns uh, that have never made it to the news. Now, one thing That's that did I'm come saying. out in the news was this Operation Frontier Justice. This was really impressive, uh, really a secretive operation with a ton, some 200 and something arrests being made. How will these cases be handled? Yeah, well, uh, they'll be handled like uh, all the other cases uh, that we deal with, David. Uh, but Frontier Justice was an operation led by the U.S. Marshal Service uh, with cooperation from the Topeka Police Department, the Shawnee County Sheriff's Office, the Kansas Highway Patrol, uh, and certainly support from uh, my office, uh, the Shawnee County DA's office. And uh, it was an effort to uh, really crack down on uh, some violent offenders in the area. Uh, a number of uh, warrants were executed. And uh, I think the community can feel a little bit safer knowing that uh, we have that kind of teamwork, that kind of partnership in place here in Shawnee County, uh, and we're ready to, uh, to use that uh, to protect this community. Were all of these arrests concerning either maybe illegal weapons and drugs, or was there more to it than that? I think there's a little more nuance to it than that, uh, but generally speaking, that, that's the goal, to identify uh, violent offenders, to identify people who are uh, causing harm in your community and to, uh, to make sure you uh, bring the full weight of the law to hold them accountable. Now, one thing I've got to ask you here, uh, the state attorney general, Derek Smith, he's running for governor. I know you're really happy about getting reelected for your current position. You want to do it very well, but do you have aspirations for maybe uh, reaching for that spot? Uh, no, I do not. Uh, I appreciate the question. Uh, I've been asked that question lately. Uh, and while I am flattered by uh, the interest, I'm very happy as the Shawnee County DA. Uh, I have a lot of work to do here. Uh, I'm committed to doing this for the long term. I've, I've said from the first time that I ran, I intend to do this for my entire career, and, and that plan has not changed. All right, you've got some lofty goals that you have mentioned to us before, and I wish you luck on that. Mike Kage, District Attorney for Shawnee County. Thanks again, and have a great day. And you can hear